Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's Occasional Series of YouTube Tutorials featuring MATLAB. Today is the 28th of March 2020 and this is video number 246. About three months ago I did Simpsons Rule in MATLAB using a for loop and today we're looking at it using a vector. Just to say that I got the code from MATLAB Central File Exchange and when Camila Medina wrote it, so just to give that, I made one or two very slight changes to it. So there's the script. I'll run it in a minute. So we want to get y equals x cubed between 0 and 1 with 10 strips or 10 panels. Upper limit is 1, lower limit is 0, and the number of panels or strips is 10. And I define the anonymous function there. It's, it's x dot power cube. Just remember that each value of x is cubed. And I call the function on line 21. Four input arguments. The anonymous function. The lower limit. The upper limit. And the number of strips. And that is reflected there. Juan Pablo gives loads of comments there. I'll let you look at that yourself. Get to line 41. So if the number of elements, num l, in f is greater than 1, it's a vector. So you you just click the, you've clicked the data points, the y points on the graph, and you go off and do it that way. But we have an anonymous function. It's more likely to do it this way. So... Lower limit, sorry, upper limit minus lower limit over n. So that's 1 minus 0 over 10. So that'll give me 0.1. So then that'll give me the step size here. So xi, the values of x are 0, 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, etc., 0.9 and 1. Now, here we go here. h over 3, so that's um, 0.1 over 3. The first plus the last you know, xi and that'll give me the last value of xi. Now remember xi is a 1 by 11. So that gives me the first value of xi. That gives me the 11th value. Now here we go. This will give me the twice the sum. Sum is an inbuilt MATLAB command. The f, that's the function. xi of 3, 5, 7, 9. It won't get to 11, why? We could say n minus 2, so n is 11. 11 minus 2 is 9, and 4 times the sum of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And remember here, we says n is 11. Just cut me for a second, but, but it'll give me 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The next value would be 12, but obviously there is no 12 point, so it just gets to the 10th point. You return the value i, there, from the function, but when we return it to the script, it's called area under curve fx, and then we look at the f print f. it's a bit long, so there's four things to be printed out. Just going slowly, giving you a chance to see it. So the lower limit is 0.4f, the upper limit is 0.4f. So we're printing A will slot in there, B will slot in to the upper limit, N will slot in there, and area under curve Fx will slot in there, and I'm printing that to two decimal places. So let's just run that. It's done. Control Shift M will get me back to the default screen, and the area under the curve is 0.25. Okay, so hope that helps a little, and thanks very much for listening.